Hello friends, uh, Milton Knight at your service here, doing commentary for a 1952 Terry Tune, directed by Connie Rosinski. Barber of Seville was composed by Rossini and was animated quite a lot uh, by uh, classics, recognized classics at uh, Warner Brothers and Lance. Uh, this is uh, Connie Rosinski, and uh, let's go to the opera. Let's walk in. Very amoral characters. Jim Tyre. Hail Jim Tyre. I always liked his work because I felt that it was bringing the inside of the character out. Uh, let's see. Now this scene uh, had some uh, Rosinski uh, character layout, but the whole thing was animated by uh, Jim Tyre. And now we see one of his patent little takes, little shrink takes that uh, show the character's surprise, kind of withholding and then exploding. And he does his unique eye movement. They do that take again, withdrawing and then bursting. And here is probably some old animation, I'm pretty sure of it, of the applauding audience. And here we have the Stokowski caricature that uh, Van Buren and Terry had been uh, using since the dawn of uh, sound cartoons. Uh, you know, 1930 on, that's a shot from below, which is unusual for anybody. The uh, syncing of this sequence to the music is rather weak. They uh, move to the beat, but not to the notes. Here is a strange idea, old-fashioned idea. We see an iris out, or rather iris, that extends out to show the rest of the situation. Uh, very, no, no one was doing iris outs, or irises at that time, not in animation or live action. So that was a weird move. Um, Terry Tunes, made by a bunch of old men, as Jerry said. Yes, now you see, very little to do with the music itself. Uh, that bugle came out of nowhere. And here comes what is probably the best musically synced scene uh, of the characters, you know, the, the elites, you know, jostling up and down and not noticing anything. Everybody's so into their own dignity. That, see, no reaction. They bounce and just... And unfortunately, this print is missing some notes. Here we go. You see, that was a jump uh, cutting out the last note. And just simply for time, simply for commercials... There's a bulldog there who looks a lot like the uh, inspector, and there's there's Dimwit, and your typical generic uh, cartoon dogs. Jekyll on smoke, and uh, silent scene, a, a gap in sound, which is unusual for them. The uh, curtain is from older cartoons, and here we have the singer, animated mostly by uh, Carlo Vinci. He did another uh, sequence of Italian music in A Mighty Mouse called Sunny Italy, set in Venice. Uh, Vinci was Italian, so there was probably some ethnic pride involved. Well, of course, your uh, tongue would tie too, wouldn't it? No. Yes, uh, this looks rather Vinci, but it... it it, it may be contributed by others, too. I mean, that was typical. Splitting up scenes within scenes. Now, here's an animator, an unsung animator named Paul Summer. Oh, well, it's Vinci now. But, uh... Here is uh, Paul Summer again. Large eyes, rather Disney-like charm that no other animator at Terry Toons really had. They must have been glad to have him there. The characters are cuter. See, like that little magpie in the cowboy suit. And 
now back to Vinci. Uh, this is pretty simple, but uh, he was a notable dance animator, one of the best. And uh, the music escalates, and so does their uh, their madness. Here's a imaginative complex scene by uh, Paul Summer again, camera moving and getting tied in knots. Uh, again, the uh, the bed deadpan humor. Um, Maybe started by uh, Frank, uh, or rather John uh, Foster, characters not reacting to anything. And the uh, rubber doors explode, and here we go down Ruben Timmons. And uh, let's see, yes, uh, unfortunately again, missing notes, I mean rather missing frames. So the uh, end title, which was special, and good night.